Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, May 30th. I'm James Spann. Really not much change in the weather today. This blanket of moist air is in place with the upper low west of here, but we're thinking the showers will thin out a little bit over the weekend. Uh, let's go in there and check things out early this morning. This is the water vapor satellite view across the nation. The core westerlies, the, the jet stream, if you will, is well to the north uh, with this upper ridge coming up through the upper Midwest, but trapped underneath that, we have the upper low that's over southern Arkansas. And that is in retrogression. It's basically moving the wrong way. It's moving back off to the west. Uh, but still, it's close enough to really set up the same kind of weather today we had yesterday. A lot of clouds, occasional showers, maybe some thunder. This is the radar at 5.08 this morning. And you can see that rain is falling early this morning uh, over a pretty good chunk of central and west Alabama. Some heavier showers uh, west of U.S. 43. So again, I just don't think we see a lot of sun today, maybe a little bit. Down to the south, we got flash flood watches for southwest Alabama, the county served by the Weather Service in Mobile, also parts of the Florida Panhandle, south Mississippi, southeast Louisiana. Uh, but no flooding expected here, and no severe weather, really, on an organized basis around the country today. A few 5% pockets, but no formal risk. Tomorrow, a slight risk for parts of the western high plains. And there's day three, which is uh, Sunday, a risk Again, for parts of the nation's heartland. This is the overall rain for the next five days. This is through Wednesday morning of next week. And bigger numbers are over the Mississippi coast into southwest Alabama and southeast Louisiana. Amounts lighter up this way. And as we often say, these maps aren't that useful in summer because of the scattered nature of the rain we get. Amounts will vary greatly from neighborhood to neighborhood. This is the GFS, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon. This is at 500 millibars. Upper low just hanging in there, drifting west. It's near Shreveport. Soupy air mass, a lot of clouds around, a few showers and storms. Highs low to mid-80s, basically the same as yesterday. That's the high res NAM, valid today at 3 o'clock. Looks pretty wet. Tomorrow, the upper low weakens and begins to lose its identity. So the forcing is not as great, and we're thinking the showers become more scattered. This is the high-res NAM ballad tomorrow at 4 o'clock, and really it's not showing much at all, but clearly I think we'll have some showers around, just probably not as many as today. And pretty much the same deal on Sunday, a uh, chance of scattered showers and storms, although this run looks a little wetter than other runs we've seen for Sunday. Could be a day with more clouds than sun. And then again, clearly a chance of some rain, but it's not going to rain all day. Let's look at next week. This is Monday. That looks a little drier. Probably scattered mostly afternoon showers and storms. It's Tuesday of next week. That looks drier. And this is Wednesday, and you can see the deal. The upper high beginning to move in here from the west. And down below that, as the heights come up, the you know, temperatures go up and the showers should decrease in number and the heat levels rise uh, the high should be around 90 uh, there's thursday of next week looks relatively dry and ooh, i spy with my little eyes a tropical feature in the southern gulf and then this is friday that thing just kind of sits down there this is friday june the 6th a week from today uh, we look pretty dry a uh, surface front north of here a tropical system south of here this is Sunday, June 8th, that tropical feature drifting north up toward uh, the mouth of the Mississippi River with heavier rain spreading over into the Florida Peninsula and the Panhandle. And on the 11th, the thing just kind of sits down there. The GFS keeps a weak tropical-type low in the northern Gulf for several days uh, with some uh, perhaps uh, significant rain for at least the southern half of the state. You know, the GFS has been suggesting this for weeks We'll just have to wait and see what happens down there. Here's the end of the forecast on June 14th. Upper high over uh, Old Mexico. And uh, around here looks very typical summer weather, very warm, muggy with 
scattered showers and storms. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.